In the last video, we saw how we can access the developer tab. In this video, we will talk about Excel's macro security. How can we enable a macro? How can we disable a macro? Which setting should I choose? And many more things. Excel's default setting is to disable all macros with a notification. This way, if you try to open an Excel file which has a macro, then you will be presented with a yellow notification bar which says macros have been disabled. And you may or may not see an enable button next to it. Now, why did I say you may or may not see it? That is because of restricted permissions set by the administrator of that organization. And if you are in one such organization and you want the macros to be enabled, then you will have to speak to your administrator. Now let's understand why is this precaution necessary? A macro is a statement or a block of statements which can not only make your life simpler, but it can also create havoc on your PC. It can delete files on your system, it can corrupt your operating system, and it can also share your private confidential information with others. Now, you wouldn't want that, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share different options available to you in the global macro security settings. And once you understand those settings, feel free to choose the right setting for yourself. To access the global macro security settings, you can access it via the developer toolbar or from the file tab and then clicking on Excel options. To access the global macro security settings from the developer tab, click on the tab. If you do not see a developer tab or if you do not know how to enable the developer tab, then do see my previous video, which is how to enable the developer tab in Excel for Windows. Once you are in the developer tab, click on macro security and the trust center dialog box will appear with the relevant tab selected, which is macro settings. In case it is not selected, go ahead and select it. Let's close this for a moment. The second way to access trust center dialog box is via the file tab. So click on the file tab to access the backstage view. Then click on the option which is right at the bottom. And you will be presented with the Excel options dialog box. Select the Trust Center tab and then click on Trust Center settings. Once you are in the Trust Center settings, select the Macro settings tab if it is not already selected. So we saw two ways to access the Trust Center dialog box. There's a third way using shortcut keys. In fact, I will share two shortcut keys with you. The first one is Alt F T. Now, how did I discover that? If you saw my previous video, which is how to enable the developer tab in Excel for Windows, I shared a secret on how to find out the shortcut keys of different menu items. And that is by pressing the Alt key. So let's press the Alt key. And you will notice that the file tab shows you the shortcut key. We just saw that the Trust Center dialog box can be accessed via the file tab. So after pressing Alt, now let's press F, which is the shortcut key for the file tab and the shortcut key takes us to the backstage view. Right at the bottom, you will notice that options also has a shortcut key, which is T. So now let's press T. And we get the Excel options dialog box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this and I'm going to try the shortcut key in one go. So I press cancel. Now I'm going to press Alt F T and I get the Excel options dialog box. I'm going to cancel this now. The second shortcut key comes from the older version of Excel where there was an options menu in the tools menu as we can see in the image. 
The shortcut key to access the tools menu is T and for options is O. Microsoft has retained that shortcut combination even till today. So you can press Alt T O as well to access the Excel options dialog box. Let's try it. Alt T O and we get the Excel options dialog box. Now let's understand the macro setting tab by navigating to it by clicking on the trust center and then clicking on trust center settings. If the macro settings tab is not already activated, simply click on it to activate it. Here we can see there are six options to choose from. Let's understand each of them one by one. The first one is disable VBA macros without notification. This option will disable all macros without any notification. Choose this if you never intend to run any macros. One thing though, if there are certain macro files in trusted locations, then they will run. As the name suggests, a trusted location is something which you or Excel thinks is safe. Any file which is in this location will not get checked by the trust center. You can set the trusted location from the trusted locations tab, which is here. So you should use a trusted location to store a file when you do not want that file to be checked by the trust center. I will talk more about trusted location in my next video. So do remember to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to this channel. The second option is disable all macros with notification. The difference between this and the first option is that Excel will prompt you with a yellow notification as I mentioned earlier. This is a recommended setting and hence it is the default option in Excel. To enable macros, simply click on the enable content button and you will be able to run the macros. And if you do not want to enable the macros, then simply get rid of the notification by clicking on the X button, which is on the extreme right. The third option is to disable all macros except digitally signed macros. Before we understand this, let's first understand what is a digital certificate. As Microsoft has mentioned in its knowledge base, Digital certificates and signatures help to assure you that the file that you are about to use comes from a reliable source. Excel uses digital signatures on the workbook contents to help ensure that the workbook has not been modified and saved since it was signed. This obviously helps you distinguish workbooks and macros created by a reliable source from undesirable and potentially damaging workbooks or macro code. Now coming back to this setting. If you choose this setting and you try to open a workbook then two things will happen. First, if the macro is digitally signed and if the publisher is trusted then Excel will allow the macro to run. However, if the publisher is not trusted then Excel will display an alert or notification and show you how to enable the sign macros or add the publisher to your list of trusted publishers. The second thing that may happen is in case of unsigned macros, Excel will not enable it nor will it show you any kind of notification. Now let's understand the fourth option which is enable all macros. As the caption of the setting mentions, this setting enables all macros automatically. This is definitely not the recommended option as mentioned within the parenthesis. This setting will leave your computer vulnerable to harmful code. Okay, moving on to the next setting, which is called enable Excel 4.0 macros when VBA macros are enabled. This setting was introduced in Excel 365 to restrict the usage of Excel 4.0 XLM macros. So you may or may not see it in your trust center settings. 
XH 4.0 macros are also known as XLM macros. They were first introduced in 1992 and allowed users to input instructions into Excel cells. These instructions can also be malicious and should be disabled if you do not want to work with Excel 4.0 macros. The last setting is trust access to the VBA project object model. This setting controls access to the properties and methods of the workbook.vb project property. We will not go into this at the moment. We will talk about it in one of the future videos when we are actually working with the VBA project object model. For the time being, leave it unchecked unless and until you already know what this does and you have enabled it. I hope this video answers few questions like what is Excel's macro security? How do I enable or disable macros? And which setting should I choose? If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below or you can also send me an email on support at tamexcel.com. A quick reminder, I will be posting two videos every week, one on Monday and the other on Thursday. If you like the way I explain things and if you think that my videos can help you in your quest to learn Visual Basic Programming, then go ahead and like the videos and subscribe to the channel by clicking on the bell icon. And I'll see you on Monday when I talk about trusted locations.